the girls. What's up? I'm just trying on these pretty cool glasses. We are in this brand new series called Big Nest. Now that is just way too fun to say all by myself in just once. So we're gonna say it again all together on the count of three. One, two, three. Big Nest. Yes, a series all about how big our God is. Now we're here in this really cool lab. And last week, we did some pretty cool experiments. I shrunk Mr. Will. Mr. Will? Will? <laughs> Will, where'd you go? What? I'm standing right here. Thought I lost ya. Yeah, cause you shrunk me. Oh my word! What? What's wrong? I never noticed how big your nose hairs are. <laughs> Anyways, we did another experiment with you, boys and girls. We asked you to describe the bigness of God. Let's see how it turned out. How big is God? He's bigger than everything. You, me, the coronavirus. Bigger than anything. This is the world. How big is God? This big. This big. This big. This ginormous. How big is God? Ninety. Bigger than the universe. Bigger than the sun and the stars. God is bigger than the apostle. <laughs> Nailed it. Now, if you missed out on that experiment, don't you worry. You can be a part of another one. Our Bible verse this month is Ephesians 3.18, which says how wide, long, high, and deep is the love of Christ. So have your parents record you singing as high as you can. Like this? <laughs> yes, yes. Just like that. Have your parents upload it to the link below. I can't wait to see it. But for now, we're gonna talk about how the love of Christ is long. So pay attention. Every time I say the word long today, I want you guys to clap like this. Perfect. Have you guys ever waited for something for a really long time? Like you wake up on your birthday or Christmas and it feels like you have to wait forever to open all the presents? Yeah. What about a really long road trip? You know, the kind where you're stuck in the back seat with your siblings, those can be so, so long. Now, do you remember the Israelites, the ones who defeated the walls of Jericho last week of Mr. Will? They also went on a really long trip. They traveled through the wilderness for 40 years. That's a long time. And this was no Disney wilderness reserves, no way. In this wilderness, they had enemies. And today, in today's Bible story, we are gonna see how they defeated those enemies. So what do you say? Are you up for an epic battle story? Okay, sit up straight and tall. It's in Exodus chapter 17. Let me set the scene. So the Israelites were in the wilderness and they were camping at Rephidim. When their enemies, the Amalekites, came and attacked them. Okay, Mr. Will, I need you to be Moses. Can you put this on? Now Moses always carried with him the staff of God. Here you go. Now Moses said to Joshua, Choose some of our men to go fight the Amalekites. I'm gonna go stand on top of the hill with the staff of God in my hands. Now as long as Moses was holding up his staff, the Israelites were winning this battle. But this battle was taking forever, a really, really long time. Now, Moses' arms were growing tired. He wasn't sure he could hold up his staff for much longer. Now remember, if Moses dropped his arms, they would lose the battle. So Aaron and Hur found a stone for him to sit on and helped him hold up his staff. They did this for a long, long time until the sun went down. And that is how they defeated their enemies, the Amalekites. Bravo, bravo, Will. Give it up for Mr. Will. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, but wait, what does this have to do with how long God's love is? Great question. After some time, Moses' arms were growing tired, right? Yeah, his arms were too small and too weak to be able to last for a long time. Exactly. But that is not how God's love works. You see, God is not like Moses. God is bigger and stronger. He is so big, his love can last a really, really long time. That's what Ephesians 3.18 means when it says that the love of Christ is long. It means that his love can last forever. Let me show you. Here, sit on this. Okay, imagine this. 
Where you are sitting, Mr. Will, is all the time you will spend here on Earth, from when you're a little baby to when you're old and wrinkly. Now, this seems like a really, really long time, but to God, it's only a little bit. He promises even more time than that. He promises to love us longer. He can love us forever and ever 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 and ever. But wait, how can he love me for that long? There is only one way. We get to live forever in heaven with God and be loved by God forever because Jesus died on the cross for our sins. God's love for us is so, so big. He sent his one and only son to us so that we could have eternal life. Life forever. Life for a really, really long time. I'm so excited, I can scream. Yes, yes. <laughs> are you guys that excited? You should be. Come on, stand up to your feet. We are gonna do our big idea on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. God's love is wide, long, high, deep. That was okay. Let's try it again. As loud as you can on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. God's love is <laughs> love it. Now come back because next week we are gonna discover how the love of Christ is high. Higher than my voice? Ah! Yes, which reminds me, we want you guys to be a part of our next experiment. So grab your parents and take a video of you guys singing as high as you can and have them upload it to the link that is right below somewhere down there. I can't wait to hear you guys scream. It's gonna be awesome. Now, in the meantime, I need to figure out how to unshrink Mr. Will, so I will be back. Don't worry about it, take your time. I'm loving it here. I'll go chill out in my house. Hey, you wanna hang out later? <laughs>